Hello, everyone. <clears throat> so, Mike Rose with CoStar Video. Hope everyone is doing well today. Would like to go ahead and welcome everybody to our 2019 ISC product recap. We're going to be covering uh, the the show. We'll let you take a look behind the scenes. Show you a little bit of the uh, product that we did show at the show. Um, so we're going to be running through this. Uh, Somewhat efficiently, we're just going to uh, uh, break this up into a recap, basically what we showed at the show and some of the new products and uh, give you a glimpse of the booth for those of you that did not have a chance to attend. But uh, before we get started, my name is Mike Rose. I'm Vice President of Sales for CoStar Video. And uh, it's my pleasure to have you guys on the phone today. I will try to make this uh as quick and informative as possible, uh, respecting your time. One of the things that we will be doing throughout the presentation is hopefully getting questions from you. One of the ways that, uh, well, actually, the, the way we will communicate back and forth is through the questions icon on your uh, go to webinar splash screen. So if you could find where the question sections are, there's a there's a place to type in questions and if you wouldn't mind just give me the name of the city from where you are calling from that way i know you can hear me first of all and then this is where you will go to ask questions that way i will know that we're all communicating because you will be be muted throughout the duration of the the webinar so you can hear me but i won't be able to hear you so um I'm just waiting for a few feedbacks. Let's see. All right. Got one one feedback. So I do have some. So you should find the uh, questions box on the right-hand side of your, the pull-down. So, yep. Okay, there we go. Got you now. All right. Well, thanks again. We're going to get started, and I'm going to break this up into a few sections. First of all, we're going to just do a quick review of the CoStar family of companies. Um, if you haven't been on a webinar or haven't been following any of the industry news, well, there's been some changes and additions to the CoStar product family or the companies um, that are underneath our umbrella. We're going to just cover those real quick. Then just take a quick look at the show. So we've got some images of on the show floor where we have all, there were three of the five companies we all presented together in the same booth. We're gonna look at that. We're also gonna look at our new integration partners, some of the new strategic um, <clears throat> projects that we have put together that now integrating through uh, some point of sale, some access control, some options that you have. And then we're gonna talk about the products that we actually highlighted at this show. Besides our normal, I, I tried to stay away from our normal uh, regular products that we sell. These were some specialized stuff that you may or may not have interest in, but they're somewhat of a niche product, but the, we're gonna talk about a stainless steel corrosion resistant product line, uh, a license plate camera that we've added to the product line, and then we're gonna talk about something new that's coming down the line. We did show it at the show, uh, amazing results. A lot of people uh, are very interested in the new StarNet Pro. So we're going to take just a sneak preview at that product as we wrap up at the end. So with that being said, we let's go ahead and get started. All right. For those of you that are not familiar with some of the companies underneath a coast umbrella i'm going to take a couple minutes just to, to to clue you in on on some of the product companies that we have of course coastar video systems which is the company that <clears throat> does all the surveillance security equipment um that was the first coastar video product line that we had under the coastar technologies umbrella so coastar technologies is the parent company and underneath that, we have Cohu HD, which has been a part of CoStar Technologies for three to four years now. 
They specialize in um, critical infrastructure cameras, traffic, uh, very high-end, very impressive optics, and very durable cameras. Those, as a product that is made here in the USA, they really target the uh, Department of Public Transportation, departments for each state, and a lot of military applications around the world. So Kohi's been a member of the team for quite some time. So that one doesn't come as a surprise. For those of you that aren't aware, Ericont Vision, who has been a household name in this industry for a long time, is now a part of CoStar Technologies. We were uh, very happy to have them inside of our booth this year. We shared uh, all three on the top row there, Kohu, Ericont, and CoStar, all shared the same property at the show. Uh, it was a very impressive uh, display of, of products, so we're excited to have Ericont. If there's anything that we can ever supply or you have any questions about anything with Ericont Vision, we'll please reach out. Um, if you don't have direct contact with Ericont, then let us know. We'll be happy to facilitate that or get you, uh, answers to any questions. We still have Inatech and IBS Imaging. Inatech is a very specialized uh company working out of Florida. They specialize in retail applications. Uh, they do some light manufacturing of one-off type projects for very large retailers, and they're a very specialized house for us. We often uh, do shows together. This was not one of them, but they have uh, been part of the team for about three years now. And then Industrial Vision Source, IVS Imaging. This group is specialized in machine vision, medical vision, robotics, specialized cameras for uh, all types of applications. They are a distributor for most of the large camera manufacturers, including Sony, Hitachi, Panasonic. So if there's ever an application where a camera is very specifically needed for a project, and these guys can help dial you into the right option. So... These are the product families. Every one of these is focused on video, which is our primary focus here at CoStar. So as we go through this, you will see some Ericont Vision slides or pictures of the booth. And that's, like I said, that is our newest uh, acquisition is Ericont. <clears throat> All right. Well, we had a great showing. If you were not able to go to the show, it was, uh, as always, a lot of big booths, a lot of square footage on the floor. We were now up towards the very front of the show with a pretty impressive display of a lot of products. There were the three companies we each operated on one of the sides with the, the front reception. So as you can see, there was a lot of products displayed on the, on the boards, a lot of product panels. There were lots of monitors going, lots of VMS images and a lot of demonstrations going on as you can see there's <clears throat> there were lots of cameras i don't re recall a time that we had more operational cameras in the booth than we did this year so this was a brand new property completely built just for this show and we were in a 50 foot by 30 foot space up towards the front and uh, stayed very busy throughout the show so it was a very impressive uh, display so as you can see here on the right hand, left hand side, we had the Ericont Vision on one side and the Co Star on the other, and CoHu in the back. A um, lot of cameras hanging up up at the top. Uh, this one was always a showstopper. This is the CoHu. This is one of their flagship products that they they show. This is what they call the 8800, which has a range of about 20 miles. Uh, it uses a 1900 millimeter lens. And it operates like a Swiss clock, even though it's probably 50 pounds in weight. So it's a very impressive piece of equipment. Always something for people to look at and stop because it is on a constant moving pattern throughout the show. So very impressive. And on the Aircon side, as you can see on the right-hand side, they had a lot of products, a lot of their uh, Contera line they were showing, which is their newest launched product. And on the CoStar side, our XDI product line, of course, and our StarNet uh, prominently displayed. We uh, showed a lot of that throughout the show. And there is a question about the integration between the two companies, and the answer is yes, that is in the foremost uh, 
project right now. We're trying to get the integration done between the XDI uh, CoStar product line and the uh, Kintera product line from Ericont. So it's not ready yet, but uh, we will have webinars when we get this launched, and we will talk more in depth about that. And we're very excited about their multi-headed cameras and their very specialized cameras. So that's something that's coming down the pipe. All right. Well, that was a snapshot of the show itself. And uh, like I said, it was uh, three days of, of fun in uh, Las Vegas and my feet felt it. That's for sure. The integration side, this is something we're very excited about. And it's often hard to display because I mean, you, you're talking about a lot of back end programming integration, but these are our primary partners for integration. There are others that aren't listed here, but these are the newest ones or the ones that we are highlighting at the show of uh, specifically the Linnell integration and the software house integration. So if this is something that you also have access to within your product lines that you sell and you have Linnell and software house, we have those integrations done. The good news is we do not charge anything for this integration. We have done the integration. We have handed it over to Linnell and Software House. It is now part of their product line, and they make that available uh, through their side. So whatever licensing and fees they charge, that's on their side. But on the CoStar side, there are none. So as always, we're holding true to the, the license-free software and integrations. That's all on their side. And then the third one was the Allegiant software. This is a point-of-sale exception reporting software that is really gaining a lot of strength in the retail, uh, grocery, and entertainment section. So if you are aware of this or you have needs for exception reporting software, we now interface in with Allegiant. So as you do a investigation or as you look at exceptions uh, throughout the day on cash register overrides and whatnot, we have the direct video link that will go from Allegiant to CoStar to play the video for that time sync. So those are some of the things that we're working on. Argo is also one that we are working on as well. That is an integration for uh, teller management. So your bank teller management systems, Argo, A-R-G-O, is one that we are in the final stages of completing that will allow the, in, the transactions to come out of the Argo into CoStar and we log the text inside the recorder for searching later. So if that is something you want to know more information, just reach out to me after the webinar and we'll be happy to give you more information about that. But these are our partners, Sureview, Silox, and MAS for Central Station Management Software, um, also proud partners of CoStar. So we highlighted that at the show. All right. Let's talk some product now. This is and is our first entrance into this marketplace, the corrosion resistance. We were often asked about it. We have a lot of customers that have applications. You know, granted, these aren't your run-of-the-mill everyday type of projects using corrosion resistant cameras, but there are a lot of applications, um, especially in the the ocean areas where salt water uh, car washes where there's a lot of there's chemicals and there are there's a lot of water and also food prep areas. Those are places that we're often pulled into or asked if our cameras will work in those situations. So we decided and had the opportunity to, to bring on a product line in conjunction with our CoHU team that they specialize in these types of housings. We specialize in the cameras that go inside, so it was a great project for both of us. And this is <clears throat> just a snapshot. This is all on our website. I'll be referring to part numbers throughout the presentation, but I'll run you through quickly and just highlight some of the products that we're bringing out in this line. Well, the first notable thing is this is the stainless steel. It's the 316L, as well as being powder coated. We use a special... Uh, powder coating that will go over the stainless steel to add another layer of protection. So it is very, very resistant to most chemicals. There are 
eight pages double sided of chemicals that are that are not susceptible to you know will not harm or hurt this type of uh, stainless steel with this coating on there so if you have an application that is going to re Require that you know exactly what type of chemical. Let me know, and I can get that list, and we can go through, and I can verify. But it is a 316L stainless steel. And as we talked earlier, you do have the marine oil and gas. We have um, the industrial plants. Anywhere that you have had trouble with corrosion, this is a great product line for those those applications. And we've tried to really come in with an entry level all the way up to a very high level of product in this this category so next we'll start to look at the slides so <clears throat> a couple of notable things is the gears that we use instead of belts so inside there's their 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 gears they're made to last for a very long time shock and vibration we're using these on tugboats actually is one of the places that we've targeted and they work very well in that environment. So for the harsh uh, impact and for um, those harsh environments, very, very cost effective and very rugged for that and very low maintenance. So let's look at the cameras. First and foremost is this fixed camera. This is the entry level product. This is a, a bullet style. Now, the picture would give you the indication that it's very small, makes it look very small. But in reality, this thing weighs probably 15 pounds. So it is very heavy. has a lot of metal inside. It's very thick metal. And it is up to a 3 megapixel resolution. It's a fixed lens. So it's basically you bolt it on, plug it in, and you are ready to go. It's an IP. It's a 2048 by 1536 resolution. It does utilize the Starvis chipset, so its low light capabilities are very good with a true IR cut filter. So if you are using them in low light areas, which around you know the beach and areas like that that may not have any lighting outward, this will uh, go into a low light mode. And it does have built in uh, IRs, 24 of them, which gives you about an 80 foot beam throw. We use these in the food prep areas. We have used these in a lot of food prep areas, so they're very, very good for that environment and very rugged. So this is the entry level product. The second is a dome product. This is a fixed dome. Um, it is also very rugged and probably weighs 20 pounds at least with worth of the stainless steel. It is a monster, but it would be very difficult to get into it or for corrosion to do any damage to this thing. Um, it is also a three megapixel. It does have a motorized verifocal. It's not a PTZ, but it has a remote focus zoom lens, 2.8 to 12. Also true day night, 28 IRs, gives you the 80 foot of distance. So this is also very good for those food prep areas or in uh, car washes, be very good for that. All right, now we're starting to get into the, the big the big boys here. This is a 36x optical zoom lens camera. It is very has a lot of metal in this thing. It's very heavy, but um, it will hold up to the environment. This one does incorporate a wiper kit. It does have the uh, Exmor CMOS sensor inside of it. So it's a very high end chipset. Uh, True day night has a wiper. I'll talk about the wiper reservoir here in just a second, but. 100 meter beam throw, and this is a great fixed camera that you might want to use some zoom capabilities to look out into the distance and then zoom it back into a wide angle. All right. Now the, the next one is a PTZ. So this one is a PTZ incorporated inside of very rugged housing. This one is IP. Now, this line has two, pro I didn't mention this when we began. Most of these have an option of an IP as well as a TVI output. So there'll be two different products. You can choose one or the other. But if your application is in the TVI, the HD over coax, most of these models can be uh, supplied in that format as well as the IP. So just keep that in mind. I won't mention that as we go through every one of these. but. This is a PTZ, it's a 20X optical. 
It's also using the, the Starvis chipset, very good low light conditions, um, true 360 degree of continuous pan tilt, and it is true WDR, so it has 120 dB of WDR. It is also a monster. It has a lot of meat in there, and this metal is heavy and very rugged. All right, and last but not least is the pan tilt, this positioner. It reminds me of the old, um, I'll say it, Pelco made their, uh, their pan tilt years ago. Well, this is back into that same type of category. Let you horizontal, vertical tilt, and it is a very large, heavy piece of equipment. Be great on ships and uh, tugboats and things like that where they need to look around. Um, it's a two megapixel, also using the Exmor CMOS sensor, so it's a very good Sony chipset. 36 times optical, 16 times digital, and it is a hoss of a camera. So if you have applications that need this type of protection, this is a great and very competitively priced against what's out on the market. Some of these cameras will go for upwards of $20,000. I mean, they're very expensive, but ours is a fraction of that cost. So something definitely worth looking at. All right, I'm going to check my questions real quick. Just make sure that I don't have, okay, so far so good. All right, now let's look at the the power supply. This also comes, has the option of a power supply. This is also in a stainless steel enclosure. There are two options. This one happens to be the biggest. And this one also incorporates a one liter water tank. So you can run the wiper kit from this. You, you definitely want the wiper kit before you start moving the, the wiper. So you'll want to spray water and then use the wiper. But it it's fully encased. It is a 24 volt to drive the positioner and it is a 100 watt output. There's also one without the reservoir kit. So if you want to drive one of the PTZs or something that doesn't have the wiper kit, there's there's two options. All of these are on the website currently. If you look under the uh, corrosion, just type in corrosion in the search bar and it will pull up this product line. And it'll have all the spec sheets, A&Es, and photos and such. So, yeah, there was a lot of people that were interested in this line, a lot of specialty product. Uh, that, that you know people were looking to fill voids in the product line so um, it's worth a closer look or reach out to me after the the meeting and I'll be happy to talk to you about any of the details all right moving along let's talk about the new license plate camera this one was pretty exciting it had a lot of people looking at this and it's not new to the market it's pretty much just new to CoStar um, this product We've had products in the past that we could get very close to the performance of a license plate camera, but it wasn't more, it was no more than slowing the shutter speed down and turning the infrareds, you know, towards the reflectivity of a license plate. Well, this technology built into this camera, this camera is built exclusively for just that highlighting a license plate, catching it at high speed, low light, and extremely bright light areas. So, we all know that in order to capture a license plate, oftentimes you either need to speed the shutter way up or slow it way down. And then the reflectivity of the IRs makes the license plate pop off. Well, what we have done with this design is we have incorporated a multi-shutter mode. So essentially, just like you do in a wide dynamic range camera where you're taking a slow shutter, fast shutter, averaging them together to come up with a dynamic image of very bright and very low light areas. Well, we've incorporated that in with multiple shutter speeds, all happening very, very quickly within the one second increment. We will take a from a 1 250th to a 1 40,000th shutter speed. What that allows us to do is get the, the license plate no matter what. So if they're going fast, it's bright, it's dark, whatever, the image will come across very, very clearly. So to give you an example, here's two shots side by side. Here's one without the infrared. Here's one with the infrared with the shutter speed. This car is not moving. It is stationary. But the reflectivity of our 
IRs hitting the license plate with that shutter speed optimized. That's what makes this a very good option. So if any of you specialize in anything that has to do with license plates, you know, front uh, guard shacks, uh, HOAs, any retail parking lots in and out, it's going to get you the license plate. We literally had this on a radio turntable or a record turntable type device where the, the license plate was spinning to the point where you could not tell what it was other than just a piece of metal spinning. And it was literally capturing the license plate as though it were standing still clear. So very good performance in this camera. The setup of this also allows you to make adjustments. So if you find that you need to shut, slow down or speed up some of the, the shutter speeds, you have the ability in the setup, this is an example of that, of going in and setting the different shutter speeds for when it will capture the license plate that's going by. So you can make adjustments or you can just default it automatic and these five shutter speeds will then get you an image up to 70 kilometers a second speed. So somebody going in a car, driving by, that's not an hour, that's a second. So it's incredibly fast. I mean, you could not go fast enough that it would not capture your license plate. But it does run in the OnVIF format. In our, we have written it so that it works very, very well within the XDI platform. So um, there, this is on our website. It's under the CBI 2H51IFP. So you can look at more details there, the manuals out there, spec sheets, and so on and so forth. And just a couple highlights of this camera. Um, this also makes it look like it's a smaller camera, but it is a pretty sizable bullet. Um, it does have a good beam throw, about an 80-foot beam throw, oh, 82 feet to be exact. But it's 2 megapixel, 10x optics, so it's a 5 to 50, which allows you to really get in and zoom in tight to the, the image. does support Profile S, so if you want to use it on anyone else's uh, recorder, you can do that weatherproof, and it's PoE or 12-volt DC, so you can power those either way. So very good uh, product for license plates. I'm excited to have one um, in the lineup now. Let me, I'm going to pause here for just one second, and I'm going to pull over the questions I need to Well, I lost my questions. I will come back to my questions. I'll give it a second to catch up. And then I know that there were some questions about this camera. I will answer those here in just a second. For some reason, my dialog box dropped off. Let me just double check real quick and make sure. I'm... All right, sorry about that. I'm just going to flip back around and then I will. I'll come back in and answer the questions um, after the fact. I've got one more section I want to cover, and that is a pretty exciting product line. We did show it at the show, and it is going to be called StarNet Professional. StarNet Pro is what we're going to be calling this product line. So um, for those of you that are familiar with StarNet, we've used it, we've loved it, we've had it out for a long time, and it is still just as relevant today as it will be tomorrow. No changes in that product whatsoever. This StarNet Pro is basically an answer to many of the questions that we have been getting about software licenses versus the hardware licenses that we have been required to use for are what we called INEX. <clears throat> INEX was originally designed to be a recording platform. 
this recording platform had a very strong user management monitoring section as well as a recording platform well as the years have gone by most a lot of people have migrated away from the pc based product lines in favor of the embedded recorders which we have also followed suit most of our recorders now almost exclusively are all embedded linux recorders well people have often wanted a centralized management of their users, meaning something they can attach to a active directory, something they could run on a virtual server versus a localized server, something that they did not have to use a dongle USB key that they could use for software licenses. So in response to that, we have taken out the recording component and rebranded the product and in we have rebranded the product into what we call Starnet Professional. So what it's going to entail, Starnet Professional will have a central administration software package which will monitor and it will also allow for streaming so if you have more than 10 simultaneous connections to a recorder, you'll be able to look at that through the streaming service. Then on your StarNet Professional backup, you will also have the ability to back up to a remote location instead of just having localized recording, which you will still continue to have. You now have the ability to stream it off to another server for just backup purposes. And StarNet Pro will allow you to run in a virtualized environment. So I'm not going to go over a lot of details. I'm just, this basically is a teaser, as we call here in marketing. But if this is something that you have had conversations with IT departments about virtual, up until this point, there was no way to run the INEX in a virtual environment. StarNet Pro, which will be released in the third quarter this year, so we're a few months out, it will have the ability to run in a virtual environment. It will have the ability to run a lot of users or a small amount of users with backup in that virtualization you know, cloud, if you will, putting it off on the cloud. So there will be a lot more details coming. We will have a whole webinar based just around this product line. But just to give you an idea, it runs exactly like our StarNet does today, looks, feels, all the, the same feature sets. However, you will have a back-end management piece that will allow you to add users, take out users, use active directories, and so on and so forth. So it's exciting. This one will be a license-based product line. You will be licensing it not for the software, but for the ability to assign it to a uh, recorder. So it will be a per device, not camera, but just per device. So it's very affordable. It is a license for the software, but um, nothing that, that's absorbent, I, I, I assure you. So just a, just a quick teaser on that. Um, more information will be coming out on the StarNet Pro, but just be ready for that when you start hearing the StarNet Pro, because we will be talking about it. Um, it will allow you to do 64 simultaneous users, and it will allow you to link multiple virtual servers together. So it's going to be a pretty pretty nice product line and uh, should fill some voids out there, especially on the larger enterprise type systems. All right, one more slide. I'm going to put this up here for those of you that may be attending some shows coming up. We do have two shows coming up in the next month. Uh, we, in May, we have the Offshore Technology Conference, of course, staying with the theme of the corrosion resistance. We'll be taking our product line to that show. It is in Houston, May 6th to the 9th. Then we will be out in Anaheim, California, June 11th to the 13th at the NRF show as well. So we'll be at both of those shows. Look us up if you're going to be out at either one of those shows. Be happy to... Uh, to go over any of these product lines with you in more detail after the fact, um, there will be an email that will come out following 
in this webinar, just thanking you for attending. If you have questions, feel free to reach back out and, and ask us. Uh, we'll be happy to talk you through any uh, questions that you have. Okay, um, so with that being said, I am going to um, jump in here and try to see if I can get to my questions. I apologize for Well, I'm going to I'm going to wrap up the webinar. For some reason, I've had a technical uh, issue on my side here from getting the questions. I will dig these up and I will get you an answer back because I know who asked the question. So I apologize for not being able to do that. Um, for some reason, my webinar uh, slides slides are still going, but I lost my dialog box. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. There will be a uh, something coming in. Uh, email box here shortly. Thank you for your time and I appreciate the uh, the time you spent with me here today and we'll uh, be talking soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.